So, this is how a pizza landed my dream job. And since you're curious, I'll tell you more about it. Routine. Maybe you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Routine shows discipline, but you don't want to feel stuck in doing something you're not passionate with. So, you try to look outside. And like your Tinder profile, there were no matches to be found. But you didn't give up. You tried to connect with recruiters on LinkedIn and gave your best effort in researching about the industry you want to pursue in. Time wasn't on your side, so... Wait, 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 wait. Why are you talking in the third person? Isn't, you know, isn't this supposed to be your story? Well, I just want to be relatable because YouTube algorithm and stuff. Oh, <laughs> so you're going to be that guy. All right, all right. So, let me tell you the story. It all started at the university career fair. I was able to meet a lot of companies, but one company stood out, which is KPS3. After we talked, I found the career that I want to do. It's basically creativity with business. Since I have expertise in marketing and creativity, hopefully, I wanted to join them. Unfortunately, they don't have any positions available right now. So, I applied to different companies with one goal in mind, and that's to be in marketing. Before I went home, I went to the pizzeria, and since I was feeling good, I wanted to buy a random person a pizza. I asked the guy next to me, hey, do you want a pizza? And he said, yeah, but why? And I just simply said, I'm just paying it forward. Then we talked about our careers, and apparently he was a CEO of a big company here in my city. He offered me a proposition. He said, help me with one other business that I have and present it to me. And if I like it, I can offer you a paid contract. You can use this opportunity to be a case study or use this opportunity to have experience. So I took his offer and waited for a reply. Now let's get back to cinematic mode. Yes. So I got the email reply and started working. I did all the research I can do, day, night, mornings, till I fall asleep. Hi, yes. I just want to ask a few questions regarding about my project. I tried to do all the research that I can do. I called companies, competitors, professors, and even colleagues. So all I can do is try to look good and present. But before all of that, let me show you what I did to prepare. So the question is, what will I wear for the business meeting? Well, we're going to start with our hair first. If you are going to tell an advice to your past self, what would it be? Um, I think the best advice for my past self would be um, to always be a bright light, to shine bright and to try to lift other people's vibrations and most of all to love yourself and always put yourself first. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I assume you want to know what happened right well he was impressed he was so impressed that actually he wants me to do another job for you know his, for his established company already and try to solve a problem so i'm just waiting for his authorization to get the proper clearance to get the actual data because when i work i want to make sure that i actually work for an actual data and the list of variables is actually, you know, correct. And I'm that type of uh, consultant. I'm not just gonna pull my, pull my facts out of thin air and 
you know, I want to work with those and make sure to actually solve it because at the end of the day, if this becomes my case study, I want to make sure that I actually helped him. You know, I helped the company. But I've learned a lot of things uh, in my journey during that time. I was, I was still applying to other jobs and companies. And right now, I was able to apply my creativity because a minor league baseball team actually asked me for uh, they asked me for an elevator pitch and I'll show you I'll show you right now what I actually did the greater Nevada field has a rich history in baseball and with me it's only gonna get better And I was able to capture their attention and at the same time they told me hey we want you in your in the team we want you in the team I think you can sell a lot of tickets with your creativity and let's see let's see if if that's the opportunity that comes out I'll take it but right now like I finally now know who I am and I'm so happy because I came from depression, anxiety, OCD, all of these diagnoses, and um, I lost uh, I lost the woman that I love, and I messed up so much. And now, I'm my life is coming together, and now I feel like I have a purpose.